from Florida Rise. Good afternoon, Madam Chair. I have an amendment at the desk. The clerk will designate the amendments. Amendment number two, printed in House Report number 112-61, offered by Ms. Castor of Florida. Pursuant to House Resolution 219, the gentlewoman from Florida, Ms. Castor, and a member opposed each will control five minutes. The chair recognizes the gentlewoman from Florida. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, Madam Chair, my amendment requires a government accountability study within 90 days of enactment of the law to study the impact the Prevention and Public Health Initiative has on preventing chronic diseases and promoting public health. Uh, Madam Chair, prevention works. It, it's smart. Uh, it, is, it saves the taxpayers money, it saves family money, and it saves lives. The Prevention and Public Health Initiative empowers communities all across this great nation to focus on prevention and wellness and what works for them when it comes to reducing cancer cases, reducing heart disease, reducing strokes back in our own hometowns. In, in Florida alone, there are over 10 million cases of the seven most chronic uh, d c most common chronic diseases, cancer, diabetes, heart disease, hypertension, stroke, mental disorders, and pulmonary conditions. We all know our neighbors, friends, families, folks we go to church with, folks we see in the grocery store that suffer from these diseases. And a lot of these cases, if they had gotten the early detention, detection or if we had worked harder on prevention, they wouldn't have fallen into that trap of the disease and all, all that it brings for families and communities. See, we have a better approach now. We're smarter in America. No longer should our health care system be focused only on taking care of folks in the hospital when they're sick or at the end stages. We're smarter. We can prevent a lot of this through education and being proactive and encouraging healthier lifestyles. And that's what the Prevention and Public Health Initiative does. State and local communities are able to decide what works best for them. This isn't Washington dictating what you should do. This is saying to our local hometowns and communities, what do you think works best for you? So I would encourage all of my colleagues to take a look at the grants that are being made. How are your local communities making these investments work in your own districts uh, to invest in the long-term health of our neighbors and the economic prosperity of our communities? For example, in my hometown, in my district, the Pinellas County Health Department has brought their neighborhoods and all the nonprofits to determine you know what's going to work best in Pinellas County is encouraging healthier lifestyles because we have an obesity epidemic. So they want to build sidewalks, trails, bike lanes, better lighting to encourage people to exercise. They're going to make improvements to parks so children have the opportunity to get out and play after school instead of sitting in front of the television. I also have a great public university, uh, the University of South Florida in my district. They are training the modern health care workforce in Florida. These are professionals fighting on the front lines of our communities and yes, creating jobs, this is creating jobs for, to encourage the healthier lifestyles that work. USF is able to identify where the gaps in training might be, develop updated curriculum to ensure the public health care workforce receives the most up-to-date research and then they can spread the word throughout the churches, the grocery stores and our neighborhoods. The Florida Department of Health is also using these grants and checking on all of our strategies statewide to determine what works. See, this is one of the important goals of the Affordable Care Act, to promote wellness and prevention, to ensure healthier outcomes for our families and neighbors. And the examples I've just shared with you are only a few of what's happening all across the country. We're smarter, Madam Chair. Prevention works. It saves taxpayers money. It saves families money. And it saves lives. I reserve the balance of my time.